All right, gang, for our uh, stability ball or Swiss ball plank with alternating leg lift, pretty self-explanatory. Just a couple things to think about here. When you're um, in your plank position with your stability ball, I wanna make sure that you're active with your arms and you're pushing your torso away from the ball. So you're here as opposed to sinking down into the shoulder blades. So whew, stay active, push up, much better for you a number of reasons. Second thing is maintaining that good stack position and relationship between your thorax and your pelvis. Now it's one thing to do it when you're in a standing position, okay? So slight double chin, breath in, exhale, and just let the lower rib cage naturally fall down towards your belt buckle and think about scooping it back towards your spine. When you do this properly, you shouldn't lose any of your height. So you stay nice and tall and you're here as opposed to flexing with the spine so your head comes off your hand. The second part of this is just a slight little scoop or uh, kind of tilt of bringing your belt buckle up towards your lower rib cage. Very small, just trying to accomplish that straightish line between the top of the head through the ear, shoulder, hip, and knee. One thing to do it here in a standing position, it's a whole other thing to do it when you're in a plank position and a whole other thing to do that on top of it when you're on a stability ball. So that's the challenge, that's the beauty of this exercise. So again, elbows underneath the shoulders, staying active, get a good stack, boom. Now I should have a nice flat back and then from here, I'm gonna slowly raise one leg up, use your glute to bring the leg up, keep the leg straight, hold it for a one or two count and slowly return to the floor. And you try to minimize any kind of rocking back and forth as well as excessive rotation with the torso. Guys, this is your um, stability ball plank with alternating leg lift.